Hey everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will discuss about the new journal type which is credit card. For that, you can just dive into the accounting module under the configuration menu, we can just manage the journal. So credit card is a new journal that is available in Odoo 18. So here you can find the journal that is created uh, with the name as credit card and the type also will be given as credit card. Under the journal entries, you can find the basic information or the accounting information such as the journal account. So here you can see the journal account is set to credit card with its code at all. And we can also find the type is set to credit card itself. Now later on, you can just move on uh, to the yeah, uh, credit card and uh, you can find the balance over here. So currently this credit card has a balance of minus 1000. Uh, double five over here and we can also find the other accounting information such as the suspense account dedicated payment sequence short codes and currency so if you want to just apply any particular currency that will be used in this credit card you can set that currency over here and under the incoming payments you can find we will be managing the incoming payments manually and the outgoing payments also will be managed manually under the advanced settings here you can find the control access such as the allowed it accounts as well as the auto check on post. So once you just create a journal, you can find this journal under the dashboard. So as you just move on to the dashboard here, you can see the journal that is recently created. So here you can find uh, the balance of the credit card as well as the payment uh, of the credit card. Now let's see how can we just use this credit card in Odoo. So in order to use the credit card, you can either go to the customer tab or you can choose the vendor tab. Under that, we can find a menu or an option of payments under both customers and vendors uh, menu. And let me choose the uh, customer payments right now. And here we can just create a new payment. For that, you can just click on new button. And if you're just managing with internal transfer, you can just enable that. For the time being, I'll be managing with the um, payment type as receive. And uh, I'm going to choose my customer as Anita Oliver. And here we just need to set the amount. So I'm going to set the amount as $2,000. And here you can also set the memo. So memo is nothing but you can just provide the reference number of the invoice. So as you just set the reference number of the invoice, you can set the amount that is related to the reference number. And here we also just need to ensure that we have just used the proper journal. Then only we can just manage with the credit card. So as we just choose the journal as credit card, here you can see the payment method is now just turned into manual credit. Now, as you just save this, if any uh, particular account is linked with uh, the customer, then that account will be auto-populated over here. If not, you have to fill out the details of the company bank account. Okay, so which is not mandatory. Now later on, we can just confirm this. So as we just confirm this here, we can find the journal entry of the credit card. Um, and uh, here you can also find uh, the other details such as the payment matching. So if you want to just manage the reconciliations, you can easily manage that. Okay. And as you just move on to the dashboards here, now you can see that the payment has just increased and a 2000 is just add, added with the 1500 as a payment. And if you want to just view the payments that just need to be managed under this credit card, you can easily find. And this also shows the reference number, the journal, the payment method, the partners associated with each of the payment and the amount in currency as well. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.